Painting, for me personally, it's almost like a form of meditation. If you hear about flow and the way that people kind of can tap into an activity that really makes them feel like calm and like they're creating something that is just right for them. The, it's just, yeah, it's just about creating beauty. My name's David Watson and I'm an artist from England. Like when I was at school, I would just be drawing in front of the TV constantly. I was like spending all of my time doing art and just kind of like quickly working out the maths and all the other things you have to do in between. <laughs> it's only really recently that I've gotten back into it. I studied a different subject at university, so since graduating I've kind of had the opportunity to get involved in projects like this. So with Tribe Lab, I met Jose through a social app on our phones and he knew that I was a painter, so we got talking about what he was doing here. And at the time I was working on the other side of the lake for a permaculture project. So that was kind of related to the natural building that Tribe Lab were doing. It was an area I was, I was interested in. And then me and Jose got talking and I came down to see the project. So we wanted to create a mural representing Mayan spiritual beliefs, uh, like the Nawalis and the cosmology and the Popul Vuh, uh, on the walls of the hostel. And that's what you can see behind me. So we've done six on each of the main doors of the hostel rooms uh, and each one represents a different Nawali. So there's 20 in total uh, and we were going for six, the first of which, which is the first door, is representing the four elements. Um, so that's really about all of nature together, earth, water, air, fire. Um, and then for the other five, we wanted to choose five Nawalis that as well as being visually appealing, the best represented creation. For example, we have the deer behind me and in the Popul Vuh, the deer and the bird represent all animals of the earth and sky. And then we've got the jaguar, which represents feminine energy. And we've got the snake, which represents creation as well as sexual energy. And then the monkey, which is bats, creation in total. So it's trying to take really the most predominant and important Nawalis that would also translate visually and have a personal significance for the members of Tribe Lab themselves. We're using all of the leftover paint that was needed for the original construction of the hostel. Uh, so we're only using four main colours and just mixing for everything else in between, um, which I think has been quite good because it means that uh, we're using all of the, we're basically using all of the materials that we have to their fullest extent. I think it's a beautiful project and I think even just in the two weeks that I've been here it's developed so much and you can already see see like the beginnings of what it will become, um, yeah. <laughs>